I noticed you've got a ring there. Can I, yeah. can I borrow your ring? Let me try this out. Great. How long have you had this? A couple of years. And what's the uh, significance with it? Um, it's my mum's ring she gave to me. It's very strange because uh, obviously it's your ring, so it travels a bit closer to you. Oh my it's quite God. strange. It jumps, you see. Now, people say, you know, you closed your hand over it. Yeah. I want to actually see it jump. But if you watch carefully, Hannah, stare at your ring, you'll actually see the moment the ring jumps, jump back, jump, jump back. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is the explanation for a very cool effect, bling fling. Uh, now, you may remember the effect started with me uh, putting the ring in one hand and it just jumping mysteriously from one hand to the other. This is the effect, you've basically got the ring, it goes into your hand and then you can show that it's jumped. This is the lead up to the bling fling finale. It's a little bit of sleight of hand, it's gonna take you a little bit of practice. This is the move. Now this move has actually got its roots in thimble magic. Years ago, magicians used to perform manipulation acts on stage and used to use thimbles. And this is actually a move that was used with thimbles, but I've actually utilized it now with a borrowed lady's finger ring. And the nice thing about that, it tends to sit on the end of the finger just like a thimble would. Now this is the move. What I'm gonna do, I'm trying, trying to keep my fingers open here so you can see what actually happens. But it looks like you put the ring into your fist. What really happens is that first finger bends underneath and you keep it in your same hand, in the right hand. It bends underneath and using the second finger and thumb, you remove it from the first finger and literally pull it back into your hand. Now I tried to do that there so you could see what was actually happening. I'll try and give you an even more of an exposed view now. So literally it goes into the hand, bends round, and the first finger and the thumb take it and put it into the hand. But obviously by doing this uh, at performance speed, it looks like it goes into the hand and it comes off and they see that this finger is empty there's no ring there. So when you open your hands and you show that it's now gone from here and it's jumped over to here, that's the jump. So this is the first part you do. This is the lead in to the bling fling effect. And obviously when you do it, it's quite a simple move once you've practiced it, but you've got to get used to actually selling that moment of magic. Give a sign for the magic to happen. Don't just open your hands straight away. Put it in there. Give a little move. If you watch, and then reveal that it's actually jumped across. This is the lead-in to the bling fling, the very first thing, and you say that, amazingly, it's actually jumped. But the thing is, when it's inside my hand, people get a bit worried. They want to actually see it jump. You won't believe this, now you get into position to perform the final effect. This absolutely blows them away, because in this position, they see that ring actually jump. Jump back, jump, jump back. Jump, jump back, jump, jump back. Now the reason this works is because they're actually focusing on the ring. They don't look at your fingers. In actual fact, the ring doesn't jump fingers. It's an optical illusion. You just swap your fingers over. And uh, very slowly, I'll break it down for you, you put the ring on the second finger. It's going to look like it jumps to the first finger, but in actual fact, all you're going to do is move that second finger over to where the first finger starts off and replace that second finger with the third finger. It's going to take you a bit of practice, guys, but it's well worth it. Put the time in and get used to actually swapping those fingers over really, really quickly to there. Once, twice, like this. Now, for some reason, if you put something in between, like I'm using my watch here, for some reason, if you've got something in between, the effect looks stronger. It seems to make it look more impossible, uh, separating the two areas. But you tell them to stare at the ring and they'll actually see it jump, jump back, jump, jump back. When you get very good at this, you can speed it right up. Don't make the mistake of doing it too many times, though, literally. You perform the first phase of the routine, it jumps from hand to hand. You say, but people actually want to see it jump. You pick it up, you get to this position, and you say, if you watch, you'll actually see it jump. Jump back, jump, jump back. Their mouths will be open wide when you hand them their ring back, and that's bling flip.